Well, here we are again. Here goes something. I'm gonna take this label off. Label removed, that'll make opening the rest a bit easier. Now, there's not a huge amount in here. I was uh, very broke when I, when I got this package, but either way, there are some goodies in here. Particularly, <laughs> there's that, here's this, here's these. It's El Camino Mio. I don't know if I have space for all these. Here's this. Hang on, is this... Is this a physical release version? Or, like, standalone release version? I thought this... I thought this black was... I, th I thought this box was black. Uh, let's look at the tape. Rental branding? Yes or no? rental. I mean, here it is, though. <laughs> One volume closer to a complete set. Of course, we've got more books. Rest of Kona. And more Tokyo Mio Mio. And Psycho Dream. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is a lot darker than this guy's other work okay and yeah that's the last of that this is my siblings so we're just gonna uh This is bigger than I expected. I think this is the first bit of merchandise I've got for this series. <laughs> Big head. Of course, we got this VHS tape. I will have to scan this cover in and stuff. And we got books. Lots of books. Way too many books. <laughs> I believe this is the 60th anniversary versions. Uh, yeah. I got them from separate sources, but I figured probably best to go for the uh, same version. I got this whole series, entire thing, because I thought it looked nice when I was creating a spreadsheet of Nakayoshi releases. I literally bought it because it had a cool cover. <laughs> uh, cut carefully here. God, this took forever to ship. These covers' spines are really faded. Such a shame how much that happens to Japanese media. I have a lot of stuff that's like that. More so books, but over here you can see it. You can also see my glitching out TV tuner. Full set. They're all faded differently. <laughs> this one looks horrible. Alright, well I guess that's concluding this one.